Most senior police operatives and other security agents would be arrested following the detention of DCP Abakari, the suspended commander of the intelligence response team at the First Intelligence Bureau of the Nigerian Police Force over drug-related offenses, credible sources said on Monday. Kiari was on Monday declared wanted by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, for selling cocaine consignment seized by IRT operatives from drug barons at the Enugu airport in January this year. His involvement in the deal had raised questions in many quarters considering that he was under suspension last year because of his involvement in other criminal activities. According to Daily Trust, there was a high-profile complicity in the latest incident involving the widely celebrated Super Cup who the NDLA said has strong ties with cross-border drug barons using his position in the police as cover. Serious infractions have been established against Kiari in relation to drug crimes but the matter was being foot dragged at the police headquarters in Abuja and commands in some states. People would be picked in other high-profile places because the secret has been busted, one of the sources said. The investigation of Kiari on the latest and other pending issues were being deliberately delayed by powerful forces because beyond the suspended deputy commissioner of police and the few officers whose names have been mentioned, there are some senior officers that are directly involved and they know they would be implicated. Hence, the tactical delay and needless technicalities in handling the matter, he said. The latest scandal involving the suspended Kiari came to the fore on Monday, a few hours after the Super Corps was declared wanted by the NDLA over his involvement in a 25 kilograms cocaine deal. The Nigerian Police Force MPF has already handed him over to the NDLA. The arrest of Kiari dominated discussions at the force headquarters Abuja yesterday. Before Monday's development, the issue of the drug deal involving him and the NDLA operatives was only known to the top echelon of the Nigerian police force, who were in receipt of the communication by the anti-drug agency. It was gathered that the issue was discussed in harsh tones by both officers and rank and file of the force on Monday. Meanwhile, why is fans in the police force of express shock and disbelief those who have been questioning his conduct said they saw it coming one of the officers said the arrest and subsequent handover of kiari to ndle for probe had caused serious confusion in the force it is an institutional indictment in the police force especially among us the junior officers we see oga kiari as a role model in view of the various breakthroughs he had made in the arrest of criminals across the country. The drug thing happened while we are waiting to see how the hush puppy scandal will end, the officer said. Another police officer said the deal between Kiari and the NDLA was not unusual. This is not unusual. Seized items are sold including him and other drugs. It is you people that are expressing shock. There are bad elements in both the police, NDLA, and other security agencies, especially at our airport, he said. Mm -hmm. Nonsense have been happening. All this rubbish have been happening before. It is not new, but just that they've been covering it up. They've been covering the whole thing up. Whether it is a scam or it is orchestrated for Kayari not to go abroad or not to be extradited it's even complicating the issues because this kind of allegations it is not even just a uh, an individual that came up with it it is an agency that came up with these uh, allegations and now as we roll if it is true if it is not a, a strict manage we know a lot of bad things have been happening so we can't just even come out here and be denying or try to make a try to make it up or try to defend what is not now, a lot of people will be involved because I'm, I'm sure confession has been ongoing. And from what we heard, I think one or two persons 
from the cartel uh, is on light it's at large now it's at large but definitely they will get the person if they want to but at as it stands now the focus now is kiare so he's beginning i'm sure he's beginning to confess he's beginning to confess what uh, he knows about this whole thing we know how this country has been ruling the more you look the less you see they don't care they don't care that is it hmm. you can imagine what is actually wrong with anyone that bs named kayari they are all corrupt and always caught up with one evil or the other really <laughs> you think so you can never see Arewa support a good person no wonder they never say good about a late president yaradra see the arewas the people arewa are praising you can imagine what people do for money all in the name of being a security personnel god bless my father of blessed memory insane country by now abakari should have been cooling off in prison cocaine business and fraud are very serious crime in the world all this is just staged just to avoid its extradition nigeria now confirmed scam if abakari spent a day in jail as presumed make i bend welcome to nigeria cocaine scandal is just to delay his old case via fbi so it is not only corruption that we have in the police force i bet you go into the nigerian force generally there's much more to find mm. no one would be arrested forget it no head we rule forget about the drug nonsense the truth is that this corrupt buhari government don't want to extradite abakari to united states of america because the fbi will expose buhari government the more this is the simple truth but if it is a uh, staged the fbi too, they will do their own investigation they will do it game changer thinking this is us thinking as a way not to extradite him a lot of people just believe in in this you can't even blame them but let's keep our finger crossed but from face value from what we are seeing uh, it is what we need to hold on to and see how it's going to turn out to be wahala deal police institution in nigeria is something else have we not seen them on the streets have we not seen what they are doing on the streets nobody should take this abakari arrest too serious because they are only using it to save him from being from big case how can Iman who was on suspension in the police he had access to protocol to negotiate drugs business the day i started to see abakari with some ego guys i knew his end was near what a wasteful career that is another thing. Somebody who is uh, being investigated because they say this thing happened in January. I, 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 I looked at it somehow again because at this point in time, when it's being investigated, you want to clean, put everything, you know, to make sure, make sure that everything is clean. So how do you expect somebody who has been, who is uh, being investigated to go and be soiling his hand because all eyes will be on him where anything can happen because some of them believe that uh, they have a uh, some kind of backing that nothing will happen but let's keep our fingers crossed and you can't even blame those who are saying this whole thing a scam they are just stage managing this whole thing so that it will not be extradited it's it could be possible you can't just discard anything so guys leave your comment down there below and let's have your take